I had a previous video online that was related to Google Home phone calls, so I wanted to do an update here for 2018. Now, we're going to start with the setup, so both your Google Home and Google Assistant applications, you'll want both of those on your iPhone or Android device. Next up, what I'm going to show you is a brief demo. Obviously, the feature does work or Google wouldn't have announced it, but I'm going to show you a few things within a demo that show you how this works. Next up, it's important to know who actually can make phone calls. I'm gonna warn you now, you're probably not going to enjoy the list of countries that can actually make these phone calls. And there's really not a way around this or I would have included it in this video here. So if you're not in one of these countries, you're not going to be able to use this. Next up is the extras, kind of what extra features you can use and a few how-to instructions to get the most out of your phone calls. Inside the Google Home application, let's go up to the menu. We're gonna go down to more settings and because I have the Google Assistant app installed as well, this is what comes up. So that's very important actually to still have Google Assistant. Once you're in this menu, you're gonna scroll down to each of your devices and you have to do this for each device that you have and you have to enter into the menu for those devices. Now you'll notice personal results is not turned on. If you don't have that turned on, you need to turn that on. That's going to allow your contacts to upload onto to your Google Home and it, it will as well give you access to emails and calendars and different things like that. Now, back into the menu, we're gonna go to more settings again and this time I'm gonna tap up in the top right it's the three dots and hit activity controls. Inside of activity controls, you can see device information. You wanna turn that on as well. So again, this is allowing data to be connected to different services on Google. So you've always gotta be aware of that, read the descriptions there, but you need to do that as well. Now finally, in the same menu, you can see all the way down at the bottom, there's calls on speakers. And you could start the contacts uploading portion now because you've turned on personal results and your activity controls. You also can start to put in your own phone number. Now this is what will show up when you make a phone call to someone with your Google Home. So I'm getting a verification code sent to me now. I get that verification code, I put it in, and now my phone number is now what will show up when I make a call from my Google Home. So let's do a demo here really quickly. Once I'm done that demo, I'm going to show you a few more of the features and the ways you can control the, your Google Home when you make a phone call. Phone Elizabeth. Just as a reminder, emergency calls aren't available from Google Home. And when you're done, tell me to hang up. Now, let's get started. Is that Elizabeth Mobile? Yes. Calling Elizabeth Mobile. Hello? What's the capital of Alberta? Edmonton is the capital of Alberta. Hello? End call. Now, of course, it's important to know if you can even make these phone calls. If you're in the US, the UK, Canada, and it can be in English or French, you absolutely can make these phone calls. The other thing you need to make sure is that your Google Home firmware version is 1.28.99351 or higher. Back on the Google Home application, up in the top right, you're gonna hit the little devices symbol, and then you're going to find your device, hit the three dots at the top right of your device, and scroll all the way to the bottom once you've gone into settings there. Down at the very bottom, you're going to see your firmware version. 
If you don't have the right firmware right now, I'm going to stick the video that I did recently on how to make sure your Google Home is all the way updated up in the top right of the video right now. So now just on the Google Home support page, you can call businesses by name. You can ask for the nearest pharmacy or a type of business. You can call by number and you can call by contact list, which you saw me do. Now, if you'd like, you can redial the last number, but you do have to set up voice match to use that. You can, of course, control the volume. You saw me do that with my hand, but you could do that. To end the call, you have to tap on the top of Google Home, or you can ask Google to stop, disconnect, end the call, or hang up. Now, while you're on a call, you can actually ask your Google Home to put the phone call on hold. You can either ask it to put it on hold or you can press and hold the top of your Google Home and it will place the call on hold. Now you can't start music, news or podcasts or ask about your day or any of those other things, but you can ask it questions. Once it's done answering what you've asked it to do, it will automatically return to the phone call. So that's a very interesting feature. It allows you to be effective while you're on your phone calls if you're having say a business phone call of some sort. Now of course you could also set it up with multiple users we're not going to go through that today that'll be in a separate video I'll show you how to set up multiple users on your Google Home and one thing just for those of you who care Google Home doesn't record the conversation but does record what command you do you know if you say hey call this person or okay hang up it will record those things and store them in your activity, but it does not record the phone conversation. So that's it guys. I hope this gets you through phone calls in 2018. This process has been really streamlined. If you watch my old Google Home phone calls video, really the process for uploading contacts is extremely easy and you should be able to use them within about 30 seconds of completing the process I showed you on this video. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.